Hello, so in this topic today, uh, we will talk about the 5G frequency and time domain structure. Before we actually understand all the 5G complexities and intricacies, um, it's very important to know how the 5G physical structure looks like. Without that knowledge, um, it will be very difficult to grasp all the other concepts that we will talk about, like uh, 5G latency improvement, 5G throughput estimation, 5G frame structure, and all of its functions and features that we'll talk about. <coughs> Sorry. So, let's have a look how 5G structure looks like. Let's see, this is one uh, frame grid. So, I can say this is time domain, while over here we have the frequency domain. So, uh, in time domain, we have symbols. In frequency domain, we have subcarriers. So, if I say one symbol into one subcarrier, which is this one small square, we, it is known as resource element. That is the smallest unit uh, that we can talk about in 5G. Now, when we have to assign something to the user, we cannot assign a single resource element because that is just that will just carry too little data so it will be irrelevant for a single user so the, the smallest amount of uh, allocation that we do is called a resource block a resource block is actually a, a group of 12 subcarriers so as you see here these 12 subcarriers if they are grouped together we can call them one resource block in LTE a resource block was 12 subcarriers into seven symbols but in 5g there is no limitation on, on the symbols on the time domain so in 5g a resource block is 12 subcarriers and it can be seven symbols or 14 symbols so it is more flexible in that case now uh, if you remember uh, in LTE our subcarrier spacing is 15 kilohertz while in 5g we have different subcarrier spacing available and this is based on the numerology which is referred by the parameter mu so when mu is equal to 0 that means we are using 15 kilohertz that is the same as LTE if mu is equal to 1 then we are using 30 kilohertz if mu is equal to 2 we are using 60 kilohertz and so on so this is the difference that we have in 5G which was not present in LTE now um, Having said that, uh, the next important thing would be to understand the bandwidth concept. Now, in LTE, if we are using 15 kilohertz, and we know we are using 12 subcarriers for one resource block, so one resource block's bandwidth will be 12 into 15 kilohertz, which is around 180 kilohertz. While in 5G, mostly for the capacity, uh, see, for the capacity uh, expansions, we are using this one, 30 kilohertz. So if we use 30 kilohertz, for instance, then what will happen is that our resource block uh, bandwidth will be 12 into 30, which will become 360 kilohertz. So it shows that we will use more bandwidth uh, for the same resource block in 5G if we use, for instance, this numerology, which is mu is equal to 1. That is one thing. The other thing, the other aspect is the time domain differences. Now, when you have a certain subcarrier spacing, that is that means you have a certain symbol length, because these two are inversely proportional. If you increase the subcarrier spacing, that means you increase the frequency bandwidth, that sub uh, that symbol length reduces. So, if you look at this in LTE, if we use 15 kilohertz, the symbol length was 71 microseconds. When we, when we expand it to 30 kilohertz in 5G, for instance, then the symbol length is halved, so it is around 35 microseconds. Similarly, for instance, if we use 240 kilohertz, then the symbol length will be 4.4 microseconds. So, it, it depends how much multiples uh, we increase the frequency, then the symbol length reduces by the same multiple. So, let's have a look at this from now, uh, slot and subframe duration. Now, in one subframe, we know the one subframe is equal to one millisecond. That is true for both uh, LTE and 5G. So, when we talk about 15 kilohertz, we have 71 microseconds. Then, in one millisecond, we have 14 symbols. 
is to do 1000 milliseconds divided by uh, 1000 microseconds divided by 71 microseconds this is what you will get now when we move to 30 kilohertz our symbol duration is halved that means we will have 28 symbols in one subframe or we can say the 14 symbols will make one slot and the slot will be 0 0.5 milliseconds in short we will have two slots in one subframe so this is this shows that as we move towards a higher numerology we will have more symbols in one subframe so this can also be seen from through gpp uh, table uh, but it, it is a bit difficult here so uh, that's why i explained it in the easy way here so let's now have a look from this perspective so in 3gpp we have l is equal to 0 which is the symbol number 0 and we can have l is equal to 14 into 2 power mu minus 1 symbols depending in uh, depending on one subframe and one subframe is 1 millisecond so when we have numerology 0 which is 15 kilohertz we know that we have 14 symbols so let's see by this formula what we get so numerology is equal to 0 2 power 0 is equal to 1 so 14 dot 1 is equal to 14 minus 1 is equal to 13 so 0 to 13 that means we have 14 symbols in one subframe because it starts from 0 similarly if I put 2 uh, mu is equal to 1 here then what will happen 14 dot 2 power 1 which becomes 14 dot 2 14 into 2 that is 28 minus 1 27 so from 0 to 27 that means now we have 28 symbols in one subframe so this just shows how the resource grid for 5g will look like on the frequency domain and on the time domain so just to recap quickly so when we move from 15 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz we take more bandwidth on this uh, on the resource block on the frequency domain but we reduce the number of symbols uh, the number of symbol time and thus we increase the number of symbols so uh, so in short if we have uh, a fixed bandwidth and we move to from 15 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz our sub carriers will reduce but our symbols will increase so overall the resource elements will still remain the same so I, I hope uh, this, this is a, a good understanding so let's take an example for instance if we have 20 megahertz LTE will use 15 kilohertz so we will have 100 RBs but because 5G will let's say if use 30 kilohertz so we will only have 50 resource blocks so the resource blocks have halved however because we will have double the number of symbols so total resource elements will still remain the somewhat similar we'll have a look later on how uh, bandwidth efficiency works in 5G but this is uh, the overall resource grid how it looks like and how to interpret it i hope th this is clear now